This is a more global phenomenon than just the United States. And there is a, a really peculiar uh, pattern across the world where majority communities feel victimized <laughs> uh, and therefore feel that uh, you know some other person in the country or some other person outside has gotten benefits and we must look to ourselves. It's a very inward looking isolationist view which doesn't sit well. Uh, it, it, we have to recognize the genuine grievances here. But there's also a, um, a, a broader sense of grievance that is played upon, uh, saying that those people have been pampered, you haven't, uh, you ha are bearing the brunt, and uh, let's uh, you know, uh, build America for the Americans uh, um, and just replace that with whichever country, France for the French, India for the Indians, and so on. So I think that's that's something we have to worry a little bit about. It's, it's being played out in a different manner in India. I mean, how long before this lack of tolerance and other issues become a key investor risk or emerge as investor risk? I think that uh, uh, talking to investors outside, uh, I think uh, the perception, and I, 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 I'm not saying there's a reality, the perception that there are battles fought over over some of these issues is certainly a source of concern. And uh, they worry that it will derail uh, the process, the economic process of uh, uh, economic growth. Uh, I think it's already out there. Uh, now, I've said uh, before, I'll say it again, that I don't think India moves in a linear fashion that there are reasons to believe that uh, the space for freedom in India has increased. Uh, the Supreme Court judgment recently on, on privacy was an example where, in fact, it had, uh, it had expanded that space by allowing different kinds of behavior, for example, to be seen as entirely warranted uh, given human rights. So I, 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 I don't think uh, we are moving in, in uh, unilaterally uh, and in a linear direction, but certainly we have to worry uh, because uh, uh, about uh, signs of, uh, of significant buildup of, of, uh, uh, of the lack of tolerance because that is one of our strengths. Tolerance has historically been one of our strengths and we should maintain that as one of our strengths given where we're going in the global economy. We've actually come to the fag end of this interview, so I've got two quick questions. One, um, and, and I can't end this interview without asking you this, uh, is about demonetization. What were your thoughts when you, or what, was, what came to your mind when you heard demonetization or the announcement of demonetization on November 8th? No comment.